lights, coming back. Uh, hello and welcome to Fun with Fromage with Phil and myself, Ellen. Uh, so today, um, before we get started, I'm going to do a shout out. I'm going to shout out to Laura, my cousin's wife, so she would be my, 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 my cousin-in-law. I don't know. My cousin's wife, Laura, who informed me you can get cheese vending machines. Um, that's impressive. You want to do a rapid cheese hit. Hello, Laura. Okay, so today what we're going to do is uh, we're going to review a box that was given to us by our friend Edie. Before this ridiculousness started, this was ordered. So it's not like, oh, Ellen and Phil, they're doing a stupid cheese video. She already ordered this for us before the cheese video had started and it's just come in very handy. Uh, so thank you to Edie, although she won't watch this because she doesn't bother with social media. So this is the Mouse House uh, box. <coughs> which we uh, did a little opening video of on Christmas Day. Um, there's lots of cheeses in here. Are you all right there? Yeah, Poke no, yourself in the eye? No, I've got sore eye. Okay. Um, so there's, uh, like all good boxes of chocolates, there's two layers of cheeses here. It's all very exciting. What, what you actually need, it makes me think of like something from Indiana Jones. What you actually need is a light inside. <laughs> and when you open it up, it goes, oh! It's I think it's a little bit less oh, than our monthly cheese subscription is. Maybe. But, but did you just show the show the boys and girls the excitement? They've seen within. it already. Well, you know, the, it's a double layer. So, Two layers of cheese. So we'll uh, let's let's have a, an initial look at what we're going to have today. Limoncello. Um, I, I was Limoncello. reading. The, well, the first one here is ginger. What, 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 the limoncello. I want the limoncello one. Oh, well, it looks like I like limoncello. Well, ginger, 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 ginger's alright, but limoncello's even better. Look, limoncello. So, um, well, while you're opening that, shall I talk to some of the other no. flavours? No. Why? Because they'll be exciting. Oh, fucking hell, mate. How many videos are you planning on making? But, jeez Louise. People have got lives. Well, I think we've proven already that they don't. It was Christmas, mate. People had time to spare. They needed things to do to get away from their relatives. Yeah. People need uh, distraction from the horror of their... Uh... The Brexit, no. Not Brexit. Uh, Boris Johnson. Uh, well, I would point out that all of the cheeses in this box come from uh, Lindbank Farm, um, as well as some other cheeses that we got over Christmas. Um, and... And they're a local cheese producer here in Lincolnshire. Okay. Um, so, uh, come Brexit, when you can't get a brie or a camembert to save your life. You can, you can have this and it'll be tasty. Yeah. Can, can we do, I don't know if you've shown this before, but can, can you show the, the cheese board that you bought me? It's very exciting. It's this is little, little, little mouse, it's little mouse, it's little mouse. And then it goes in this hole. I'm going, don't I'm do that, you're going to cut my finger off, aren't you? So, did you put any biscuits? No. I think we should just crack on, mate, um, and do a little slice. So, um, what's the texture like? It, I ain't going to lie, mate, it was a little bit slimy as I pulled it out of the packaging. It was a bit sweaty. Well, this is, once again, as we discovered with the advent calendar, plastic wrapping yeah, is kind of the cheese. enemy of... Yeah. It's a nice colour though. It um, is, and it's quite a nice consistency actually. Is it's, it? I mean, it, it looks it's like both it's solid and a little like crumbly. A little in a nice way, yeah, yeah. So I'm, I'm just going to go in and give it a sniff. I'm not sure that limoncello would be the natural combination I'd go for yeah. with the cheese. Lemon. That's, it smells really lemony. It's really nice. Not, not surprisingly, it's limoncello. Acidy citrus with a uh, milk. Milky, I mean, I know cheese is sort of... It's like a vom waiting to happen. Well, it's acidic. Anyway, yeah, milk and acidity in there, there we go. That is a delight. That is... 
So, as I've said before, that is very tasty. That is refreshing as well as cheesy. Nice texture. Dissolves nicely. That's probably the wrong word. Dissolves nicely in your mouth, but it does. That's nice. It is a nice cheese, isn't it? It's a very nice cheese. I'm very surprised. It's quite mature as well. I'm not a big fan of fruit in cheese. No, you're not. That's, no. The, the lemon's really lemony, really, yeah, really that's lemony. That's delicious, yeah. It doesn't taste alcoholic. No, 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 it doesn't. It tastes lemony. Um, but, but it does taste lemony in that sort of zesty, limoncello y kind of way. Yeah. And the cheese itself. It's a which nice I'm texture. Is, which I'm guessing is like the lemon man cheddar. Mm. But it's really nice. It's, it's quite mature, it has a bit of a tang to it. It's well, the, the cheese comes through mm. underneath the, um, yeah. the lemon. So. And as you say, it. it yeah, it scans yeah. the packaging very well. It does, it does. So, we're uh, we're at the six minute mark now, matey. So, any uh, any final thoughts on this? What I would say is a rather delicious Limbank Farm Limoncello Cheddar. I think the only thing I've got to say is dibs. No, not dibs. That's not happening, mate. Sauce. Bye. Say bye. Mm.